Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in on my channel, Creating in the Waiting. Today we are going to be working on something different than what I said we were going to be working on yesterday. We are going to be making, totally inspired by a Savage Cinema Live uh, put on by Tasha Sims yesterday in my group. I tried one of these maybe a year ago when I first started journaling and it came out so bad. But she made these little flat pens look so easy and for the flip-flop journal and for any journal to just stick in a pocket and keep it super flat and keep it you know corresponding with the journal now I probably am going to make a bead of pen for this journal also but I thought how fun so let's give these a go this is going to be for the flip-flop journal that I am creating for my design team project working with the forget-me-nots and spring blues digital by LDA which I will link all of that in the description box below and stay tuned next week as I start the first challenge creating a typesetter which is kind of like a shadow box pretty pretty cool and she gives you all the supplies to do one with paper so and those are the freebies and if you are interested in anything like that, please check out the links in the description box below. All of the Facebook groups that participate in the challenges will be on her link tree. It's just easier that way. And you can get the freebies and LDA's uh, Facebook group. So at any rate, without further ado, let's create a flat pen. This is from the Forget Me Not Digital. I thought it was beautiful and it would match our journal perfectly obviously because it goes with the kit these are two inch strips I've already cut them and it's on pretty sturdy it's not like thick paper I want to say it's 65 I'm pretty sure it's 65 pound copy paper um, so it's a little bit sturdier and we're gonna score this at one inch right for it to fold around our pen now I didn't have any of the the cute pens I say cute, but how cute could this be? That have like the tip that's from like a beak pen where it has like the little wider tip right here. And it just looks better and it's easier probably to wrap. But this is what I had. I literally have thousands of pens because I'm obsessed with pens. And all of mine are gel and pretty and um, just pens that you can't really take apart. They're not very simple, basic pens. These are the um, Sharpie uh, pens that I got the little uh, cartridge thingy out of. Anyway, and I cannot find my bone folder score thingy, so I'm going to use this and I hope that it works. All right, because I really wanted to try to do this properly. And you can embellish these as little or as much as you want. And I'm just going to come here at my one inch. And honestly, I kind of am wanting a big scoreboard now that I play with this one just a little. It kind of makes things a lot easier. So I'm going to come here at my one inch. And I really don't think that this thing is... Okay, maybe it will work. Let's see. Oh, good, and it's like almost the right size. So we're gonna come here at one inch and we're obviously gonna fold it that way. And I am gonna go ahead and score all of mine at the one inch fold. Okay, so I have scored all mine. I'm gonna have to find that little blue piece. Obviously it's over here in my craft area somewhere, but it pops off that little holder, so I tend to lose it. Now you can embellish these as little or as much as you want. I don't really know what is going to happen with mine. I'm probably just going to do the basic here with you guys. Maybe do an eyelet, a charm, some ribbon. That's why I kind of have these little goodies out right here. Don't really know what I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is just put it right here in the middle of one of these. Obviously with just the tip right there. 
I'm gonna use my three-in-one to me it catches a lot quicker than my Fabri-Tac which I hardly ever use I only use that as a backup and I'm just gonna put a running bead of glue down the center oh Tasha you know your live was so great yesterday the Savage Cinema, I will link my Facebook group, of course, in the description box below. Um, turned out that the turnout was so great. Everybody's lives were so good. It was wonderful. Everybody had a blast. You know, you can go back and watch the videos later. That's cute. Um... I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut. So I went back and watched a few of them yesterday that I wasn't able to catch when they were on live. And then obviously I'm going to cut this top part down. But right now I'm just going to seal this shut. And I do like the polished finished look of a rounded corner so I'm probably and I'm trying to like flatten that out the best I can and obviously you're coming up around that pen so this side is not going to meet that side perfectly so you'll just trim that off with scissors let's I'm looking for anything right now that I can just kind of come here and flatten this with. Really wanting it to be flat right up on my pen. And you see, like, no problem with three and one. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of room Oh, to round. Oh, I'm sorry, but we aren't stopping. We're just going to carry on with it. <laughs> I might try to crop that out or, you know, edit that. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of room. Um, don't act like that's never happened to y'all. To put an eyelet there and to round my corners. So let's maybe come here. Gonna really hope that this does not eat my paper. Perfect. Oh, this is the cutest thing on the planet. I just want to sit here. And perfect for Happy Mail. What is this? Like, wonderful for Happy Mail, I feel like. Let's flip this over because that side... It's fine, but it's not. it's not really wanting to go like up in there because of that pen. Okay, good, it didn't eat my paper. And I honestly really don't even need to cut it. I mean, I can, or I can just come here. I will tell you what I wanna do is sew around this. Um, yeah, these are a wonderful mask make. Very simple, very easy. And again, I don't know how much I would embellish this. I'm just going to try to get it as even as I can. I kind of feel like I butchered that. Let's do it a little bit. I mean, you can measure it if you want it to be very precise, but let's see the way this feels in my hand. Um, I could write with that. Um, I like this. This is fun. I could have maybe cut that a little bit shorter, but I like the length on that. Um, this is amazing. Let's decorate, or I say decorate, but let's 
let's do one. And what I'm going to do is maybe kind of mark where I want my eyelet. And then decide which eyelet I want. I kind of want to use one of these little cameos. But, I mean, I don't know how I feel about that black. And I kind of wanted to use one of these, but none of these are really matching. With the exception of the gray, I could rock with the gray. Um... Yeah, I totally used my little one. Those are cute. Again, I what I don't want to do is get caught up spending seven years. Oh, I kind of like that blue eyelid. Let's see what this one looks like. That's cute. I'd have to be really careful with what I put on it, though. I like the butterfly. I, I, I want to use this eyelet, so I'm going to go with that. And it's set fine kind of on the back. Let's try to, let's try that again. Um, I don't care for how that's setting. And I think these are the ones that... I could almost cut this shorter. I I'm definitely going to try to get this eyelid out. They have like the flat thingies to put with these, I think. And if I have to snip this, I'm going to. I'm going to speed. I'm going to speed up through this. I don't like that, so I'm going to fix that. Okay, so, and that's fine. I like this pen also, and I'm glad I gave myself a little bit of room up at the top. I'm definitely not going to be using that eyelet. Or the colored ones. I need to figure those out. I got them on Amazon, and I've only used them one other time. I didn't feel like they set like that one, though. It's on the right. That one's set better. Okay. I I kind of like this butterfly. I I'm actually really feeling like I could possibly use. I definitely not the light blue, and I don't have any of the darker blue. But I definitely feel like I could possibly get away with using that. But, I mean, I kind of really want this also. So, let's see what this looks like. And then we can decide on tassel charm, whatever we want to do. And then we will make another one. And I really wanted to make some pink ones. And maybe use the pink cameo and this. You know, just brought out some different stuff to play with. With the exception of no pink paper right now. What? said Arlene. <laughs> that butterfly looks really cute. You could put a bow also. Probably am going to put a bow. Let's see if I have any flowers or anything.
might need to put a bigger jump ring on this. Unless I just kind of, I'm just going to hang it from my sorry silk. And the front of the pen, I just went with this side. I mean, it doesn't necessarily really even matter. I'm just trying to get up in there. It's just kind of hard for my hands. That's cute. You could also... Now, whether or not I want anything down there, I don't know. Um, because again, I haven't really used these very much. And I feel like if I put something down there, that will get in the way of my writing. I feel like that's pretty like that. could also use glue or something and if you wanted to put lace on it you could put lace on it or wrap lace around it I wonder what type of fibers I have let me look at my fibers. Just bear with me a second. Because if not, I'm just going to leave this to be. Everything's going to have some pink in it. This one for this. I don't have any eyelash trim. I'm just wrapping this around and seeing if I. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, you get the idea. You can wrap eyelash trim around it or something. be like a boho, a big boho bead. That's kind of cute. It reminds me of a corset. I like that. Now, what I could do is then I could, you know, hold it all together with like a bow. Or, I mean, I could even tie it in a bow. I want the points to kind of meet there, I, I feel like is fine. I'm going to put my beacon here. Could even put like just a ruffle. Oh, I like the ruffle. So I'm going to put glue there. 
I'm going to slide these points back up and get them tight because all that will now, you know, stay together. I am going to snip those off. That's not going to be hanging there. Or, I mean, you could leave it hanging there. You could put beads on that. Okay, my mind is like going everywhere right now with these. Let's put that there. That's cute. It's just it was like a leftover little snip of my ribbon. Now, I don't know that I'm going to be making another one of these with you guys. You get the idea. I might make the base of one, but I don't want to sit down and make these all day long. And I do need to get my day started. Thank you to all my subscribers who show up every day or some days. Um, yeah, and all my new subscribers or anyone visiting my channel. I don't know. I almost want to leave those little dangly things there. And if you're just visiting, I would encourage you to subscribe. Y'all comment so that I know that you're here. I love and I read everyone's comments. It brings my heart so much joy, y'all. This little pen is key. I want to find something to put in that. That bow honestly kind of looks good there now. I really want to make a pink one of these. I don't think I have any blue flowers that I want to be using. Which I really need some because I am going to be making that snippet. So I'm probably going to be saving. But I mean I might be able to get away with using these. Oh, uh, we need to make more. And now I have something that I can use these little fibers for. Because let's just keep it 100. The boho beads are fun. But it's not something that like I enjoy. Enjoy sitting down and making every day. So you have a little cute paper pen. I might cut those little strings. But for right now they're just going to stay on there. Okay. So you have that. Let's do another one. Since we already have our paper cut and all that good business. Again, just going to do a running bead. Down what looks to be the center to me. That way I kind of know where to place my pen. Making sure I'm leaving my pen, you know, there. And then we can wrap around.
so now you have another one and I am running out of storage space and I have now lost my nope here it is corner rounder I do want to just show you how this one is kind of looking and I'm gonna kind of do the same thing okay it's really hard though to get this pen in my corner chomper that way I'm finding if I flip it over and shove it up there it does fine so I'm feeling like maybe I might want to measure these points though just to kind of you know make it look a little bit neater down at the bottom because they they visibly to me are not even I mean not that that necessarily really matters it might drive me a little crazy. Yeah, if I do that anymore, it's it's gonna look bad. So I'm gonna leave it be and I will actually probably end up measuring those. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one pretty similar to this cutie patootie there. I hope that you enjoy this. If so, please hit like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all be blessed, create what brings you joy. Bye for now.